We have strong evidence from human clinical trials that this supplement can reverse skin wrinkles by up to 18%, but it's shrouded in two controversies that I'll address during the video. We'll cover what the supplement is and how it works, the evidence for reversing skin wrinkles, and whether it's safe. But first, there's been a monumental shift in the research on the supplement that you need to know about so that you don't get ripped off. The supplement is hyaluronic acid, and it's found in every connective tissue and organ, including the skin, joint fluid, blood vessels, brain, cartilage, and heart valves. Essentially, hyaluronic acid is the backbone of our connective tissue, holding everything together, and the skin contains the largest quantity of hyaluronic acid in the body, with about 50% of the total body hyaluronic acid present in the skin. Unfortunately, the quantity of hyaluronic acid in the skin, it gradually decreases with age. For example, a 75-year-old person only has about one quarter of the amount of hyaluronic acid in their skin compared to a 19-year-old. So imagine that your skin is a firm mattress. When you're young, it's full of support and bounce thanks to the high levels of hyaluronic acid. But as you age, it's like the mattress losing some of its springs, becoming less supportive and more prone to wrinkles. Reintroducing hyaluronic acid is like adding new springs, restoring some of that original support. It sounds great in theory, but there's a valid criticism, and the first of two controversies is can the body actually absorb hyaluronic acid supplements? And this is a rabbit hole that's got a new twist to it after a 2023 paper was published. Are you ready for the rabbit hole? In the 2000s and early 2010s, animal experiments demonstrated that hyaluronic acid supplements can be absorbed and distributed to the skin, bones, and joint fluids. These studies used radio-labeled hyaluronic acid to show that yes, the supplements are indeed absorbed and retained in those tissues for prolonged periods. For instance, a series of experiments indicated that even if hyaluronic acid is partially broken down by bacteria in the gut, a substantial part is still absorbed without significant degradation, which suggests that these supplements can effectively reach the target areas where it can have an effect. But a 2023 study has completely upended that conclusion. Remember, hyaluronic acid is a long molecule, and this part is important because it affects what type of hyaluronic acid supplements to use. Very long versions of hyaluronic acid are known as high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, and they display anti-inflammatory activities. Short versions of hyaluronic acid, on the other hand, are known as low molecular weight hyaluronic acid, and they're associated with increasing inflammation. The previous studies that we looked at suggested that the body can absorb the long chains or high molecular weight hyaluronic acid and then transport that hyaluronic acid to the skin. Indeed, that's why when I first started taking hyaluronic acid supplements, I opted for the more expensive high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. But studies started to come out suggesting that no, the high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, it's broken down into low molecular weight hyaluronic acid and then absorbed. But the 2023 study takes everything a step further. This study used the latest labeling technology to explore exactly how hyaluronic acid is or isn't absorbed. And here's what they found. The high molecular weight hyaluronic acid is broken down by the stomach into middle molecular weight. Without gut bacteria, none of the hyaluronic acid is absorbed, absolutely none. But in a normal gut, the gut bacteria completely breaks down the middleweight hyaluronic acid from the stomach into short oligosaccharides, or sugars, and short-chain fatty acid metabolites, which are then absorbed. So absorbing hyaluronic acid is a bit like dismantling a Lego structure. The digestive system breaks down the long hyaluronic acid chains into shorter pieces, just as you would break down a Lego castle into individual bricks before reassembling it. These smaller pieces can then be absorbed and utilized by the body. However, even after this process, the bioavailability of hyaluronic acid is still very low. So why are these results different from the results published in the 2000s and early 2010s that showed that the long chains of hyaluronic acid can be directly absorbed? Well, the 2023 study answers that by explaining that the prior absorption studies probably resulted from non-ideal methods to conduct the experiments. Those prior experiments could not distinguish between free label, labeled hyaluronic acid, and its labeled metabolites. In contrast, the new 2023 study uses the latest labeling technology and provides a more accurate representation of how the hyaluronic acid is processed in the gut. Overall, 
buying expensive, high molecular weight hyaluronic acid supplements are probably a waste of money as they're broken down into short chains and even then the absorption is very poor. The 2023 study indicates that the hyaluronic acid supplements work via their broken down metabolites rather than direct effects of the hyaluronic acid being absorbed, so a massive shift in how we understand this molecule. And given these absorption questions, what evidence do we have that hyaluronic acid supplements do indeed reduce skin wrinkles? Are these supplements worth it? When examining the research, we care about the human, randomized, placebo-controlled trials. And this is where one group of people take the hyaluronic acid and another group take a placebo or a dummy pill. Then we can compare whether there are any benefits to the skin, despite the absorption challenges. In 2001, a small trial suggested that hyaluronic acid decreased wrinkle depth compared to a placebo. Similar results were found in a small 2007 study, and again in 2017, that study involved 60 people. Now, you're probably wondering how wrinkle depth is measured in these studies. So in the 2017 study, a skin replica agent was applied to the corner of the eye, and then once dried, those replicas are peeled off and scanned, providing an objective measurement of the wrinkles. The analysis showed a clear difference between the group taking the hyaluronic acid supplements and the placebo. So all good news so far, and we'll get onto the second hyaluronic acid controversy later in the video. This 2017 study also compared different molecular weight hyaluronic acid supplements, and as expected from the 2023 absorption study that we went through, there was no difference between the higher versus lower molecular weight versions. Both groups had similar improvements in skin wrinkle depth compared to the placebo. Remember, hyaluronic acid supplements are broken down by the gut bacteria into sugars and metabolites, then absorbed. There are three more human clinical studies to go through. A 2021 randomized clinical trial of 40 people also showed benefits. Now, when looking at these studies, it's important to consider bias, and these studies were sponsored by a supplement company called Cupi Corporation. But given the objective measures of the skin wrinkles, there's at least some certainty that other groups would be able to repeat the experiment and get the same results. Indeed, a separate group in 2021 also demonstrated benefits in a randomized clinical trial published in the European Journal of Dermatology, where wrinkles decreased by 18.8% compared to a smaller, non-significant reduction of 2.6% in the placebo group. Finally, a larger 2023 study of 129 people again demonstrated skin improvements from hyaluronic acid supplements. Overall, before we get onto the second controversy, we have multiple randomized clinical trials showing that even though hyaluronic acid supplements are first broken down into sugars and metabolites, there are improvements in skin wrinkles. But is it safe? And this is the second of two controversies. So some people may experience a bit of tummy upset, but the big safety concern that you'll hear about on social media is cancer. In single-cell studies, when hyaluronic acid is given to cancer cells, it appears to accelerate cancer growth. However, when hyaluronic acid supplements are given to mice who already have cancer, there is no difference, and those findings support the safety of orally administered hyaluronic acid and its use as a functional food ingredient. But what form is best? And then we'll have a look at skin serums. So as explained, hyaluronic acid is broken down into sugars and metabolites. So when I designed microvitamin, I elected to use sodium hyaluronate, 200 milligrams, due to its enhanced stability and solubility, and it's quite small in its molecular size. Sodium hyaluronate is also a cheap supplement on its own, and just because I take a supplement does not in any way mean that you should as well. There are other proposed benefits from hyaluronic acid supplements, such as improved wound healing, arthritis, eye health, but the randomized clinical trial results are conflicting, and larger, longer-term trials are needed before we can make any firm conclusions. Finally, hyaluronic acid skin serums are useful as a moisturizer as they attract water, but the evidence isn't convincing for other signs of skin aging, which makes sense because hyaluronic acid is a long molecule and it's unlikely to penetrate into the deeper layers of the skin. And if you wanted to know my full skin protocol to reverse the signs of skin aging, make sure to check out this next video here. And a massive thank you to all of the patrons supporting the channel.